We're just going to post-match interview um, with Mark, Dave and James following today's 1-0 defeat to Biggleswey Town. Skip, start with you. Um, disappointing result, but how, how did you uh, how did you see it overall out there today? Yeah, one of them. It's, um, you can't argue. Uh, lads gave everything. We, we've had, four, I think that's the fourth game in nine days. Um, I thought we didn't deserve to lose, if I'm being honest with yourself. Did we deserve to win? Probably not. I had draw written all over it. So, yeah, one of those. Um, I think people look at it and analyse it a lot because it's your local derby. You're playing Biggleswey Sound, so you, you don't want to lose to them. But hey, we, we won on Boxing Day, um, won in the cup against them on penalties. So um, they probably they're well happy with that. But one of those, not not too disappointed. We've had a great season. We're still second. Need a couple more wins to to, to uh, uh, cement second place. So so we're at home for both games in the playoffs if we're lucky enough to win the first one. So yeah, no real complaints. One of those. Um, Dave, uh, conditions uh, I felt played a part today. Very, very, uh, very difficult conditions for the for the players to play in. Um, obviously, they nick it right at the end with a penalty. How did, how did you see the penalty? Was it was it a penalty for you or? Not a penalty for me. Um, just because we was at the right angle to see it. Um, I think young Adam, who I thought was probably our best player today. We'll probably get, and he's gone home disappointed. Probably will think we probably didn't need to make the challenge because he shoved him out wide. I think Dan would have had the angle covered, but that in the heat of the heat of the you know the battle, you you make a decision, and, and on, on this occasion, listen, if he has another fifteen goes of it, he possibly ten of them he doesn't make the challenge and he holds him out. But that's that's taken away from what I thought was you know I thought he had a real good game. I feel I think he picked Clem most of the game. Who gave him, you know, as he would a real tough time, and I think he handled it. You know, he's only he's 19 years of age, and I just think, as I've said in a couple of interviews previous, I just think he gets better and better from from coming through his illness. So pleased with him, and I can't blame conditions or anything. Look, uh, you know, he wasn't. We played in near swamps up here, pre, you know, since Christmas, where it's been so. So soft um, today. I thought it was firm. It was fine. It was a bit windy, but um, you know there was there was a game that, if you like, if two styles maybe. But credit to Biggleswey, they set up to stop us playing, and they they did a good job of it. But we still created the, the one or two chances we needed to to get ourselves what a in front, and then we've had, you know Adams opened them up near the end and put a ball across the. Box is begging for someone to tap it in, and we, on this occasion, we didn't get someone there. They've, they've caused this problem with a, you know, I said on Saturday we're going to get an awful lot down the throat. I said we would get it today. I wasn't wrong, and and the shame is I thought I think Dan and Weddy managed it pretty much all game until right near the end where Simo doesn't quite meet the header. It takes the top of his head in it. And it gives them a run at you know a run at us that, that in the end um, comes to a penalty, but uh, it's just it's just one of those things. It's a shame because we we think we're a, we know we are on a good run. It's it's just uh, you know today town town got it right and got their reward at the end, and we had an opportunity and we didn't take it. So it's it, it, on fine lines and unfortunately it fell on the wrong side for us today. Obviously. Town, town obviously got the win today, so uh, credit to them. But do you, do you think they did the job on us tactically, or was it was it more a case of it was a typical derby game, scrappy, not great quality at times in the game? You think it's just a uh, just put it down to fine margins, or, or was it was it something that you felt that they did tactically that maybe nullified us today? I think it was a, a typical derby physical battle that turned into a bit of a slug, really. Um, ball game from back to front quite often. Like you say, trying to, to get a hold on it for both teams was quite difficult. Um, they did stop us playing out from the, the back early on, which certainly helped. But in all honesty, I think it was just one of those ones where, you know, if it wasn't for the penalty, everyone would have been quite content with a draw. Um, we certainly would have done. But I think, yeah, you'd have to just say they did a good job of trying to stop us playing out, is what my from my perspective. Um, and I think if we did, like you say, maybe had a, a few more chances that we <coughs> had taken that previous weeks we had have done, then it would have been a different story, but nil-nil for me, I think, was a fair, a fair result, Lee. Obviously, we weren't at our best today, but would we have been sort of, if if it had been a draw, based on the fact that we've taken 
the full nine points from the last three games, a, a point probably wouldn't have been a bad result. And, and even a defeat, it's, it's not... It's not that they obviously did cock Drew, as I say, where I got a win, but we effectively need one more point to to, to, to guarantee third place in the league. So it's, it's not exactly all doom and gloom, is it? But obviously, oh. you, you obviously don't want to lose a derby. No, you don't want to lose a derby game, obviously. But the reality of it is, we secured our playoff place on Saturday, and you kind of answered it for me, Lee. I think, you know, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. We secured the playoff place, as I said. Um, and uh, yeah, there's more important games to come. So. Yeah, managed to get six players, I think, now changed from Saturday. Five changed from the game against Didcot. Squad's looking strong. So it's, um, yeah, like I said, more to look forward to. Dave, obviously lost Alex in the warm-up. What can you, uh, what can you tell us about that one? Um, this just comes from Saturday. Uh, late in the game, he's uh, gone down the line and tackled. He slid into the fence. Just a, a knock. Um, so hopefully, possibly have him back for Saturday. Worst case. Uh, the Wolfenstow game, we may we may yet decide to rest him for the Wolfenstow game just for that because so so many of them are getting a little, you know are getting tired. There's a there is a little bit of fatigue. It's, it's no excuse. That's why we keep changing it and chopping it as many times as we do. You know, Tom's played Christ at virtually every minute for since since the start of the season. He's another one. Loz the same. You know, they they're putting some fair old minutes in at the moment. And we have one or two lads in Bondi and Bailey that. We try to look after. Um, Bailey in particular played 70, I think, Saturday 75, and then today we've done another 70 again, and he was, you know, and that was his, he was done then. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to we're trying to mix it as best we can. The only thing, the only thing with Alex today by by him, you know, by us not using him, it meant we had to push more through players that we would have we'd have probably used Bailey and Bondi uh, as half and half sort of thing and, and played that way, but. If it gets a bit of rest into Alex, it'll be it'll be important to us, um, you know. And the rest of the side the same, like one or two, we'll get we'll get one or two boys back on Saturday. We didn't use Luke today; he'll play Saturday. Uh, we'll get Fish back for Saturday, so we'll, we'll we you know we'll we'll mix it up again. They'll get their breaks. We're not we won't train again this season. I don't think there's any need to train there. Try and give them as much rest as they can. We we'll go we we'll go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Um, look, it, the only thing today does is that we we need to go and get a result at Wolfenstow. But I think we, all three of us, felt we always wanted to go and get a result at Wolfenstow. So you know, we've we've got a plan, you know, plans for the game. We've had them, we've had them watch, and if if our guy that we've had watching them has done what we hope he has, hopefully we're going to have that one right on the game. We know what they're going to serve up to us, so we'll be ready for that. Aylesbury Saturday is important. The good thing is that I think they're playing Thursday, so they're going to go through a little bit of what we're going through. They'll have a little bit of fatigue for Saturday. Hopefully we come through that. Um, and then finish it off with the longest trip of the season at Highworth. Skip, just finally, um, so we touched on it a little bit, it's been it's been quite a, quite a few difficult games in a short space of time. Um, when we were looking at Kempston, Didcot, then Kidlington, then Bigglesbury Town over a four-game period over a short space of time, Nine points is, is not a bad return, is it? Yeah, no, can't argue with that. So, so sometimes you win three, lose one, you're better off winning. If you go win two and draw two, you're, you're worse points off. So, uh, yeah, again, it's just one of those. It's, it's, no team's going to win every single game. No team's going to go unbeaten. And, and, and sometimes it's good to get a defeat. We lost to Hadley a few weeks ago and that galvanised us and won the next three games. So I've got no, yeah, no crimes in that at all. It's, for a derby game, for two sides from Biggleswey, um, while it wasn't the greatest advert for football, I thought it was a, a good grassroots game of football, physical, no nastiness, no no overspillage, no nothing. It was just a good game of football. Um, they've come out the right side. It was our turn on Boxing Day. Today it's their turn. So, and and again, good shaking after after the ha after the game. Everyone's shaking hands, and and I thought it was good atmosphere afterwards as well. Which sometimes you read on Twitter that it's not always the case, but today, yeah, good for Biggleswey. Congratulations, gents, and uh, see you at the weekend. Cheers, Lee. Cheers.